Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. In today's video, we will be taking a look at this single-sided crank arm based power meter courtesy of Four Eyes. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Patrick Lino and I am a cyclist here in Chicago. I do bike reviews, I do bike builds, and most recently, I actually got arrested for exposing myself at the local gym. I'm just kidding. It was actually on the subway. <laughs> so without further ado, let's begin. So a couple of things I want to address about this uh, single sided uh, crank arm based power meter from four eyes. So first and foremost, the one that we're taking a look at today is actually the version two. And the reason being is because I kid you not, I actually ordered this crank arm two days before the announcement of the version three. So I'm a little bit bummed about that because the place I purchased it from, they could at least send me an email saying, yo, if you just wait two days, we're going to have the version three coming out. But that's okay because I did get this one for like $50 off. I believe the retail on this for the Altegra R8000 version is like $375 or $350. And I was able to get this for only $299. So I'm not really complaining about that. Now, the second thing I want to bring up is the reason why I'm going with a single sided crank based power meter. There's a few reasons why. So as you guys know, if you've been following this channel, um, I now have several different power meter options. So of course I have the one that's built in on my Wahoo kicker that I use all the time for indoor trainer. I also have a crank based power meter uh, courtesy of Cork. That is the uh, Dub D4 version. I actually am running that on my Windspace T1500 frame as well as my LA Sprint. And I also have this third option here, which is my uh, PowerTap P2 uh, power meter pedals. The problem with these though is unfortunately they have gone to crap. And so I need to send these in for some sort of repair um, and for warranty. One of the bearings on the um, on the pedals has gone bad, so it just sounds really bad. And unfortunately, on one of the other uh, pedals, um, it's no longer connecting via Bluetooth or AMP+. Plus. So I've reached out to SRAM for warranty, but for some reason it's been a week and they have been ghosting me and they've been unresponsive to my warranty claim. So I'm um, hopefully I can get something worked out with them, but who knows. But in the meantime, I'll be able to run uh, this uh, crank arm power meter on my Dangfu. And I think this is really cool because now I'll be able to swap this on all of my bikes that are running Altegra cranks. And so it'll give me another option that I'll be able to use whenever I'm in a pinch. But most importantly is what I wanna find out is for those out there who maybe are on a budget, can a single sided crank arm based power meter be all you need in order to be able to train with power. As we know out there, power meters can be very expensive. Uh, these uh, PowerTap P2 pedals, when I bought these uh, almost two years ago, these ran about $900 and I think they're now discontinued. So you can't even buy these anymore um, on the retail market. My Quark crank based power meter, that one runs for about, I think like $600 and you still have to supply your own uh, chain rings as well. And then of course the Zwift power meter, that doesn't really count, um, not Zwift, the uh, Wahoo uh, kicker. But nonetheless, for this being only $300 and was on sale, let's find out to see if this is all you really need to be able to train with power. So in order to swap this out, you do need just a couple of basic tools. Uh, we will be using a five mil uh, Allen wrench, that's to remove it. We also need our Shimano tool here to remove this bolt here as well. Um, just a little bit of grease, just a little bit. Um, and of course, we will also need a torque wrench so that we can torque down these bolts once we have the new arm down, down to the factory specifications. So without further ado, let's begin. Oh, and also one other thing I forgot to mention. Now, this is probably implied or assumed that being that this is only a single sided power meter, how this is going to read with your um, GPS on your bike is basically it's going to take the reading on one side, which is going to be the left crank. And it's basically going to double that or multiply the power output by two to give you the reading on your bike computer. So in my case, my uh, my strongest leg is actually my left leg. Well, Actually, my strongest leg is my third leg, but nonetheless, it's gonna be on the left side, the left crank, it's gonna double it, and then you'll get the power uh, reading on your bike computer. All right, so let's get busy. All righty, and using a five mil Allen key, we can go ahead and remove these bolts here. Okay, so now that these bolts are removed, we can go ahead and loosen up the preload adjustment here. All right, now that's off. Now the reason why we need the Shimano tool, um, it's not just to uh, remove the uh, preload bolt, but it's also because we need to remove this sort of safety mechanism here. 
This prevents the crank arm from flying off as sort of a redundant uh, safety mechanism in case these bolts here become loose here. All right, guys, so this is what the new uh, crank arm looks like before we actually install it. Um, I believe it just uses just a basic 2032 uh, coin cell uh, battery here. And what's really cool um, as well about using a single-sided power meter um, such as this one is it only adds, I believe, either seven or nine grams to the overall weight of the crank arm. So if you are a weight weenie out there where every single gram matters, this might be a good um, alternative to look at um, while still being able to use uh, a power meter as well here. Oh, another really cool thing about this is um, that uh, four eyes, yeah, they do supply the bolts you need to um, fasten it back to the uh, crank setup here. You don't have to switch out the bolts from the original crank arm to do it. They've already supplied it uh, as well. All right, now it's kind of hard to tell, but uh, four eyes recommends that you have at least 10 millimeters of space between your crank arm, existing crank arm, and your chain state in order to allow for the uh, power meter sort of mechanism in order to fit uh, between the crank arm and the chain stain so that um, it doesn't scratch up anything and that it doesn't malfunction here. Alrighty, now Shimano recommends um, a torque setting of between 12 to 14 newton meters. So I'm gonna do about 13. And the most important thing um, besides just torquing it down is making sure that you are torquing down each bolt um, in an even sort of uh, force here. So loud here. Alrighty guys, so this is what the new crank arm looks like. As you can see, it's basically identical uh, to the original crank arm that we had. And that's because this is in fact just a Shimano Altegra crank arm that Four Eyes um, installs at the factory. Now the cool thing about um, Four Eyes and even with the stages is if you don't want to pay retail for one of these brand new, you can always send in your crank arms to uh, Four Eyes directly. They do have a service where they will install a power meter on your existing crank arms, which is really cool. So I do have to test this out in the real world to see what sort of power numbers I get. I want to see how it responds to surges and to sort of figure out how accurate um, this power meter is. But I'm gonna tell you right now in my own honest opinion here. Now, this isn't any sort of science or engineering opinion of mine. This is just someone who spends a lot of time on my bike. I'm gonna tell you that unless you are a dedicated racer, someone who's really all about improving your fitness through training, then I'm gonna tell you right now that this is probably going to be all that you need. The main thing is being able to have a number that you can see on your bike computer in order to get some sort of gauge and idea of how much power you're putting out. So again, if super accuracy is not important to you, which it probably isn't if you are just a recreational rider, then I'm gonna go out on a limb and say right now, before I do any actual testing, that this is going to be all you need. And at $300 while it's on sale um, at the time of this video, to me, I think it's going to be a good value. Now, Four Eyes is known for the quality, such as Stages is, and chances are, you probably will be good with either one of these brands. But this is gonna wrap up today's video, guys. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm gonna check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.